If fast asleep, who can tell? When the clapper clapper hits the bell, if fast asleep, who can tell? When the clapper clapper hits the bell. Laboro, laboras, laborat, labora, lab, laboramus, laboratus, laborant, vocal. Focus. Focus. We had word that Cromwell's soldiers were hunting for us, and we daren't stay in the farmhouse. So we escaped into the woodland nearby and climbed a large oak tree. The colonel climbed up there with me, and he held me in the tree all day while I slept. He told me afterwards he could hear the soldiers. Why? Afra? Nice girls don't ask awkward questions. They do their lessons and are polite and do as they are told and don't ask what's in the letters they are asked to carry wherever those letters might need to go. And after her dad died, there was no money or not enough to go round. And the Sydneys couldn't keep her forever. Of course, she had taken the lessons to heart. It was a bit of a joke, though. She went abroad with her mum, brother and me. Daughter to the governor of 23 islands, indeed. But her dad was a good enough man and popular with his customers. One of those people that gets told everyone's secrets. Yeah, often the way with a barber. And, of course, the shop was another good place for letters. She could have passed for a governor's daughter by that time, though. Pretty and elegant and graceful enough to make sure no one would suspect her of anything. But so sick as we all were on the voyage out, no one had warned us how long. Thanks for the lovely feathers, delectable Australia. A pretty enough bait to pull in Scott, enough sense to do our work, but not so much she sent us packing. <laughs> not that she could afford to do that. And even by then, Afra was... Afra enough to notice everything that was going on, hated seeing the way the slaves were treated, and got it into her head that they were all princes in Africa. The idea of princes being mistreated really got her going, bless her. And she'd already started writing by then. Poor enough stuff, but got her hooked on ink and stories. When she got back, we were all agreed she was quite a promising spy. Australia 160. But then she made a complete fool of herself in Antwerp. Then again, she hadn't a chance out there. Such a little fish among the sharks. It wasn't kind to hang her out to dry like that. 